Welcome back. This lesson is on quality control in CT. Quality control in CT actually requires several tests, most of which must be completed on a regular schedule as mandated by various accrediting organizations. So here's the test that we'll perform on CT scanners. Spatial resolution, contrast resolution, image noise, accuracy, linearity, and uniformity. We'll start by talking about the spatial resolution test. Remember that spatial resolution is basically the detail or sharpness that can be visualized in the CT image. And the way that we measure spatial resolution is by using a line pairs phantom. Each cube in the line pairs phantom represents an increasing number of line pairs, and as there's more line pairs, they get smaller and the spaces between them get smaller. The highest number of line pairs that can be visualized represents the spatial resolution of the CT system. And so again, spatial resolution will be measured in line pairs per centimeter or sometimes in line pairs per millimeter. Another test that has to be performed on a regular basis is the contrast resolution test. Remember that contrast resolution is the detectable difference in Hounsfield unit. The image that you see on the right is an example of a contrast resolution phantom. Basically, the contrast resolution phantom uses a base material that's usually some type of polymer or something similar to water, and then it includes several areas with different size spheres that each have their own difference in Hounsfield units. Each area represents a different level of physical contrast. In this contrast resolution phantom, the highest level of contrast is 15 Hounsfield units, and the lowest level of contrast is 3 Hounsfield units. We can definitely see the difference between the 15 Hounsfield unit spheres in the background. We can clearly see the 10 Hounsfield unit spheres. We can just barely see the 5 Hounsfield unit spheres, and we can't see the 3 Hounsfield unit spheres. And so in this particular image, on this particular scanner, we would say that the contrast resolution is 5 Hounsfield units. Another quality control test that has to be performed on a regular basis is image noise. Image noise in CT is similar to image noise in radiography. It's basically the same thing as model or graininess in the image, and it's usually the result of significant attenuation of the X-ray beam. All CT images have a certain amount of image noise, but we need to be able to measure that image noise to make sure nothing's wrong with the scanner. We measure image noise by evaluating the standard deviation using an ROI. If we place the ROI over this homogeneous phantom, we get several numbers, including the average CT number, the standard deviation of the CT numbers, and the area of the CT numbers. If we're talking about image noise, the number that we're concerned with is the standard deviation. As the standard deviation increases, that means we have an increasing amount of noise. If the standard deviation decreases, that means we have a decreasing amount of noise. And obviously we want the image noise to be as low as possible without increasing the patient dose too much. Another important test that has to be performed on a regular basis is the evaluation of the accuracy of CT numbers. Imagine the confusion if different CT scanners produced different CT numbers for the same tissues. Obviously this would be a problem, so to avoid this issue, all CT manufacturers have to calibrate the CT number or the Hounsfield units so that specific materials produce very specific CT numbers. For example, in this particular scan we have different materials represented. If we place an ROI over the area representing air, we should get an accurate CT number of about negative 1,000 Hounsfield units. But if we place the ROI over the area representing the consistency of water, we should receive an average Hounsfield unit of something very close to zero. Whether or not these numbers represent the expected CT numbers is the accuracy of the CT system. Another test that's performed on a regular basis is what we call the linearity test. The term linearity refers to the relationship between the attenuation properties of the material and the resulting CT number. So it's a pretty simple idea. As the attenuation of the X-ray beam increases, the CT number should increase by the same factor. And when we plot this relationship on the graph, we should get something that is very close to a line. And that's why it's called linearity. The linearity phantom that you see on the left includes several cylinders with different materials. Each have a different level of physical density and therefore have a different level of attenuation. The average Hounsfield unit for each of these materials is plotted on the graph with its corresponding linear attenuation coefficient. And again, when we plot these numbers, it should form a line. And if it forms something other than a line, then we probably have a problem with linearity. 
The last quality control test that we'll talk about in this lesson is uniformity. When you think of uniformity, remember that we should receive a uniform CT number in a uniform material. Here's the easiest way to think about that. It's basically the ability of the scanner to give us the same CT number for the same substance regardless of the position of the ROI in the phantom that we're scanning. In other words, all of the CT numbers should be uniform. In this uniformity phantom that we're looking at to the right, this is a water phantom. And if we place an ROI over the center of the water phantom, we might get something like three Hounsfield units. If the scanner has good uniformity, that means that if we place the ROI on the edge of the phantom, we should still get something very, very close to the same Hounsfield units. Theoretically, CT numbers should always be uniform. In other words, you should always get the same CT number in the same material regardless of the position. But there are certain factors like beam hardening or scatter radiation and just the limitations of CT scanning that usually make this possible only within certain limitations. So that's a review of the quality control test that we perform in CT.